Broadcasting live from the Wellness Wonderland, you're listening to the Wellness Wonderland Radio. I'm Katie, and each week I chat with the most inspirational people on the planet on how to stay inspired in all areas of life. As you listen, feel free to tweet at me, at Katie Dalebout, or use the hashtag Wellness Wonderland. I'd love to hear your aha moments. So grab your headphones and listen on the go, or cuddle up with a notebook as we dive in deep with authentic conversations right here in Wonderland. Hey guys, it's me again. I just quickly wanted to remind you that all the show notes with the links and resources we mentioned in this episode are available on my blog. So head there now and leave a comment for me or our guest and we'll respond. And you can also find the entire archives of all the episodes from the Wellness Wonderland podcast and catch up on those at thewellnesswonderland.com slash podcast dash two. And if you guys are digging the show, it would be super duper awesome if you guys could leave me a review and a rating over on iTunes. It would be so helpful to bring more people to the show. Thank you guys so, so much for listening and leaving a review. And without further ado, here is this week's podcast. Welcome back to the Wellness Wonderland Radio, everyone. Today is a landmark day in Wonderland because our very first guest is on as our very first repeat guest. So this is a very special person in my life. A mentor of mine, Philippa, is back in Wonderland. She's a wellness expert who really talks her talk and lives in her own version of the Wellness Wonderland for sure, and she happens to be all the way in Sweden doing that. So... Before we dive in, I want to give you a little bit about my personal history with Philippa, who is a dear friend of mine now and a mentor to me, and I credit her with a lot of my success because she believed in my dreams so fully at a time when I maybe didn't fully believe in them. So really awesome. She's the one who introduced me to my mentor, Gabrielle Bernstein, and spirituality, and so much more. She is legitimately an angel who came into my life right when I needed guidance. I had just graduated from college and I was feeling really lost. And so I found Philippa and we were just talking before the call through Twitter actually. And you know, I found her because I needed guidance on my diet. And I was asking questions like we joke how many chia seeds to eat and how many hemp seeds to eat and you know what I should do. And, and Philippa would respond with things like forget the chia seeds and grab your meditation cushion. And at the time, you know, it was like, all right, you know, I'm going to try it. I'm open, but I don't know about this. And um, at the time, I had no idea the impact that she would have had on me and on my life and and where I am now. So she really opened me up to a whole new perspective of things. And looking back, it's so clear that we were guided together. And I'm so grateful for that. And now to have her as a mentor and a friend. And today, I'm so excited to share her wisdom again with you, new wisdom um, with you today, and really bring her back to Wonderland to get all of her goodness. I'm so excited, actually. We chatted a little bit about things we wanted to discuss, and I'm so excited to hear everything. So thanks for stopping by Wonderland, Philippa. Thank you for having me again. I almost get like emotional listening to the story because you had such, and we were talking about this before, but you had such an amazing transformation. I'm really happy that I could guide you through it. Oh my gosh, me too. And you know, I know all the work you do with your clients now is you know, just as wonderful and just as amazing and just, um, you know, we'll go there and we'll get into a lot of specifics, but I'm just, I'm so excited and, um, you know, a lot's changed since our, our last interview. You know, you live in a new place. I've had 40 episodes plus now. <laughs> wow. You know yeah. That? It's amazing. You're yeah. It's number crazy. One. So you have a new <laughs> last name. You're on a new continent. And so, so many different things. So I guess, um, you know, we'll dive into some exciting things you have coming up, but just to get present with us. So what are, what are some things that have changed for you since the last time you were on the show? Oh, wow. I think that was like a year ago. So obviously a lot. Um, I think I had just moved to Sweden when we talked. So 
I've, you know, I've become more established here. So my coaching program is up and running. I have 60 women, um, so I'm, I'm keeping busy. Uh, coaching in a holistic way, as I think we talked about in the last episode, which is, you know, not only looking at food, but looking at career and, you know, mindfulness, spirituality, career, just well-being in general. And then, you know, how that's all connected to the way you eat. And um, then I'm launching a, well, one of Sweden's first juice cleanses here, Yay! Raw Clarity Cleanse. Yay! I know. It's actually the first announcement I make. I haven't told, like, anyone before. So Drum like, roll! I'm yeah. so excited. <laughs> You're live here on, in Wellness Wonderland. But, um, yeah, so that's, you know, on April 24th. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I'm keeping pretty busy and then workshops in between and it's like, you know, I'm in my flow. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and then it's just like enjoying the ride. Yeah, you're writing for a huge magazine and stuff. Oh, yeah, I have my own column. (laughs) I know. It's so crazy. There's a bunch of Swedish girls that listen to your radio show now, so. Amazing. (laughs) It's so funny. I can see, like, the different countries that listen to things and Sweden is, like, number two to the U.S. (laughs) I love it. I love it. But it's actually it's actually really funny because I was talking to someone um, the other day about like how Sweden compared to other other countries in Europe is just like really far ahead um, in terms of this stuff and in terms of just like health and well being. You know, if you compare it to like you know the Italians or the French ways, they're kind of just like stuck in like the bread and cheese and yep. you know that kind of um, mentality. But Sweden is just really flourishing, which is so it's really fun to be in this specific country because um, yeah, I just feel so supported in what I do. They're ready for it and they mm-hmm. need it. Totally. So let's go a little deeper into the cleanse. Can you talk about um, Rock Clarity Cleanse a little bit more and kind of your vision for it? Yeah, I had – so um, – I lived in New York before. Um, this is when I coached Katie, everyone, <laughs> when I was in New York. But um, I lived in New York before, and I never thought that I would move back to Sweden because I had kind of grown up in Miami and, yeah, on that side of the pond. And um, and so when my boyfriend at the time was like, you know, do you feel like you want to move, like get out of the city? It's so crazy. I was like, yeah, I guess, but I just don't know what I would do. And like a couple of days later, I was just like walking the streets and I was like, and just popped into my mind. It was just like a juice cleanse and it just gave me so much joy. And so I've always felt that it's been kind of like a blessing from the angels um, that they gave me this idea and I feel really supported. So I actually made my logo with the little angel feather wing to, to, yeah, to thank them for the idea. So I've had this idea for two years, but um, when I got to Sweden, I, I was just, my schedule was full with coachings. And I wanted to devote my time to the, to all the girls here. So, um, you know, now I'm kind of more settled and I'm just ready to launch this thing. So it's really fun. Amazing. So are you going through and like recipe testing with juices? and? Yeah. Yeah. I'm done with all that. The Norwalk came, you know, like the big Bentley of the yeah. juicers, <laughs> which is, it's. I mean, it's amazing. Um, so, yeah, I'm done with um, with that part. Um, yeah, I have all my recipes down. There's three different levels. Um, they're called Basic Clearing, Let Go Feeling, and Ultimate Healing. Oh, I love yeah. the names. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, obviously, like, the one that's, like, the, the you know, there's, like, a few. The easiest one has, like, a bunch, you know, like, fruits and, like, um, almond. Um, uh, Milk. I'm, I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like, in my mind thinking all these Swedish words I have to translate into oh, English. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then, like, the, the top one is, like, all greens. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I think Sweden is um, ready for this right now. Nice. So this is a perfect time to talk about sugar. With, with mm-hmm. juice cleansing, there's a lot of talk about it's so great to do a reboot in that way, but you're also – getting so much sugar from the juices. So Mm -hmm. can you talk about that conversation? And then we'll go into talking about your journey with um, being sugar-free for, what is it, 30 days? No, 60. 60 days. Congrats. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I know. So first maybe address the the, when you're cleansing, when you're juice cleansing the sugar conversation. So, I mean, obviously I think the highest level where you're doing all greens is – the best for you but you know it's like everyone's at different levels and everyone needs to start somewhere and and it could be very intimidating to just drink that for 
um, you know, even for one day. So um, I have very, very little fruit in my juices, even, you know, the beets and the carrots and all the, the lowest level. I don't really have that much fruit. But, you know, yes, there's the fructose in there. But you have to give fruit credit because it does have a lot of great vitamins and minerals and good for different parts of the body and good for different diseases. Um, it's really funny. I, I have my own mentor, Mary Sol, which is a Colombian woman that lives here in Stockholm. And um, she was telling me how um, kiwi is really good for cancer. And I was like, who knew? So I'm learning a lot about what fruits can do for your body as well. Um, on a regular basis, which brings me into this I Quit Sugar program that I did, um, created by Sarah Wilson. She's from Australia. And I think Gabby Bernstein did the same program. Yep, I did it too. Oh, you did it too? Yeah. Did you do the whole thing? Well, I just pretty much got rid of fruit and all processed sugar I wasn't really eating anyways. And I just right. kind of cut fruit out again. I have green apples and berries here and there, but it really hasn't been that hard. And I think that's I something that... You know, it's not for everybody, but it can um, it can definitely be a big difference in your life. I want to hear about yeah. your story with it. Yeah. No, I mean, I think if there was anything left for me to kind of clean up my diet with, it was the sugar. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I realized what control it had over me because I was eating, you know, like – like a little raw tree or, you know, like some watermelon juice in the morning or whatever it was. But it it really had um, an effect on my body and I didn't really know. So I was just really intrigued to try it. And um, yeah, it's kind of changed my life because I have such clarity. And it's like you said, I don't even I don't even want the fruit anymore. It's really, really strange. Yeah. Um, so I don't really know how I'm going to make this transition back, but um I'm, you know, I'm probably not going to have more than one fruit a day, if anything. So with that, with cutting out all of the fruit, how did your diet and your life change? And what kind of things did you add in to replace that? Or how did you um, make, make it so easy to, to do that for 60 days? Um, I think the best thing about Sarah's program is the preparation. So you buy everything on Sunday and you know your menu for the whole week, like lunch, breakfast, dinner, snacks, everything. So it's kind of just like a calmness, like you already know. And you do a lot of the prep work on Sunday too. So, um, you know, everything's kind of ready to go. Like all your quinoa is done and like all your vegetables in the oven are done. So you could just like heat things up. Um, and I think the most important thing is like making amazing super satisfying meals because then you don't want anything after dinner or you don't want anything late. like you're just like so full and you really like are present and enjoying your meals so I think that's one of the biggest things and then when I did get like a sweet craving for me it's like all about the coconuts like coconut meat coconut water um different like you know like soaked oats with just like some cinnamon and vanilla and working with those kind of like sweet spices um and you know, like a piece of cheese here and there. Um, that's what I went for. And it, it totally worked. I think, to my surprise, week four was the hardest. I don't know how it was for you. Yeah, I mean, I think it just kind of, um, it's an, it's like, you know, with cleansing, they say you get over the the first three days or whatever, and then mm -hmm. it's, and then it's easier. So I think, you know, it's different, different for everybody. But it's something that you'll definitely start to notice the benefits if once you push through yeah. that tough part. Yeah. And I like I and I'm serious like I love I would have like something little sweet every day. So I was, you know, I, I like if I can do it anyone can really do this cuz I loved my sugar before and I I mean zero cravings. Like last night I went out to dinner and the waiter's like dessert menu, I was like no, you know, <laughs> I was like not interested. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. So I guess um, getting into your life now post sugar. So what can you walk us through kind of like a typical day of some satisfying meals that you're eating and maybe start with breakfast? Yeah, totally. I've actually, um, I mean, I was raw, like 100% raw food for a really, really long time and have kind of um, – changed a little bit. I still don't eat animals, but um, I've added a little bit of cheese and I've actually added eggs into my diet. And for me, it, it really works. And I think that's kind of, I've said this before, but it's all about finding things that work for you. So I, you know, like the organic free ranged egg, hens and eggs. So um, 
so yeah, I I make like eggs and I throw in like spinach and a bunch of different like greens and then with like a little like spoon of tahini on top and then all these recipes are from from Sarah's book. Um, and then I'll make like the cold oats, like I said, mixing like coconut and all that stuff. I still make lots of green smoothies, um, but you know, have taken out kind of the banana and added in more avocado and again those sweet spices like. Um, vanilla and mint, mint leaves and things like that that still give a flavor. Um, so that's kind of what I'm having for breakfast. And then, um, I mean, lunch, it's cold here in Sweden, so it's a lot of, you know, vegetable soups and, and salads and things like that. Um, snacks, nuts. I eat very, very simple. Um, I don't know. Are you the same way, or do you, are you making really complicated things? Katie? Oh no, nothing, nothing complicated yeah. in the wellness wonderland over here. Yeah, and it's so funny that you. This is hilarious, and I was gonna wait and tell you this after, but I'll just let what? everyone hear. When you said that about, so I recently. Well, it hasn't even been that recently now. It's been a couple months, but I added eggs back into my diet. And yeah, high that, five. Yeah, and that was big for me, Felipe. Yeah, like that was. Uh, yeah. That was really like, you know, oh, should I do it? Should I not? I don't know. I don't know. And this is hilarious. You're going to laugh at this. It was the same way for me. Like I was really – it's only been like a a month and a half. And I was like, is this okay? Is this okay? And then now I'm loving it. Yeah, it's so funny. So when I did it, I remember thinking like, oh how am I going to tell Philippa this? <laughs> like, she's going to like think this is, you know, and it's so funny because that's the thing. Like, and then I got over and I was like, you know what? It works for me. Maybe it's not yeah. going to work for Philippa, but it's working for me. It's what I need for my hormones and my body yeah. and my balance. Yeah. And, um, and you know, anyways, it, it's just pretty funny to go there. And I think that's a good lesson for, for people to take away from this, which is that, you know, whatever works for you, get dropping the labels right now of yeah. vegan or even, you know, gluten free or da- whatever Ugh. they are. Like, they're just, they're really, you know what they are? They're stupid. And yeah, they're, they're for judgmental. Containers. Yeah. And labels are for containers and just let them go and eat what you want to eat and don't worry, you know, what anybody thinks of that because we yeah. are so different. And, you know, Philippa knows my story, but. You know, I was like super obsessed with a certain book, a certain way of eating. And, you know, whether it's whatever, whoever it is, you know, that way of eating works for one person and yeah. it's not a healthy way to be. You know, that's great that that may work for some person. And I get that the reason why people put books out is to show kind of an extreme case. But I Mm -hmm. think, you know, they can also be dangerous if people don't realize how individual we are and that we're not machines. And, you know, that's something that Philippe and I both talk about and both promote in our work a lot. And I think, you know, girls, myself included, can get really stuck in that. So, um, you know, I think Jess, the wellness warrior, put out a post, you know, a couple months ago, and it said, yesterday I ate an egg. And she'd she'd been, like, raw (laughs) vegan forever. And she's like, actually, I ate two of them. And you know what? Now that I'm being honest, I actually had one last week too, you know. And it was like, (laughs) I remember reading that post and being like, and she was, it was like a big deal. And I remember reading it and being like, she did oh my gosh and then I was like that's gonna help a lot of girls so I hope this this little conversation we're having does too and I mean I think I like fried my egg in coconut oil for like 20 minutes I was like okay it cannot be runny it needs to be completely like like well done you know and now I'm I'm getting better but it was it it is it is a big step I think because of how we've all thought before but I think it's it's just so great because the whole point is to eat what's best for your body and eggs just have so much nutrients. Yeah, yeah. And, and what you said um, in our last interview, because I just listened to it, you were like, you know what, the whole point of this is your health. So if it's going to stress you out to not have something, like just have it because stress is worse for you. And that's mm-hmm. been like the biggest lesson I've learned from you and – You know, I think that focusing on what's going to make you feel good and just tuning into your body, having enough awareness to figure out what that is, is kind of the key to all of it. Yeah. No, it really is. 
Yeah. And I think it's just like doing the best you can. So, okay, you want to be a meat eater. Then, you know, find out where your meat's coming from. You know, how was this animal killed? Can you buy wild? Can you go to a farm? Just do the best you can in terms of like clean and whole eating. But, you know, if you like meat, then go for it. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess, you know, the other piece of knowing, you know, it's not all about the food, right? And that's a big thing that you do in your work and showing people because, you know, a lot of people come to this for a certain, hitting a certain bottom, whether it's with food, whether it's with their body, maybe it's with addiction, um, you know, for me, for you and I, you know, it, the food kind of got us in, but what mm-hmm. what had us stay was the bigger aspect of it, of spirituality, and really what it comes down to is finding your purpose and unleashing what your true purpose is in life. So could you talk about how finding your purpose relates to feeling stress-free and feeling good in your body and your health? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like I always tell my girls, like, all roads lead to happiness and balance. I mean, and love. I mean, those are the things that we want at the end of the day. So you're eating a certain way because you want to be happy, because you want to be, I mean, whatever it is for you. But you know what I mean? So, like, all these ways lead to happiness. And I just see it too often, um, you know, people are doing, like, what their parents think or what society thinks or, you know, just becoming and doing jobs that they don't love. Um, and I think this slows down your flow and ultimately, you know, decreases your happiness. Um, so, no, I mean, we were talking about it before. I just think it's becoming more and more important because, you know, at the end of the day, we're all moving towards oneness. We're all moving towards making this earth more loving uh, and, you know, shining more light. And in order to do this, we need to be um, doing what we're meant to do, you know, living our purpose here in life. And we'll all get better flow. I mean, I just see the way your life has turned out. And when we began coaching you, you might have headed in a completely different direction. And now you have just such flow because you're living your purpose and you're doing what you're meant to do. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of that, you know, came from watching you do the same thing. So this is a perfect segue to the next thing I wanted to ask you. And so you talk about this in in our last interview, which I'll link below if you haven't heard it, listen to that one as well. Um, but But you say, you know, you'd run home from work, from your PR job, to blog because it made you happy because that was your purpose. Right. And, um, you know, I can relate to that a ton where I am in my life right now of um, knowing what I love so much. And so can you talk a little bit about that time period in your life of that transition and what advice you have for people in the same space where it's not their time to launch and fly out on their own, but they're wanting to be there and how to kind of navigate and stay present in that transitional time, but also enjoy it while they're there. Mm-hmm. So I always think like everything happens for a reason. Everything happens when it's supposed to happen. So you have to have patience. And there's always that those two words, divine order. Like it's, you know, just mm. chill, relax, because it'll happen when it's supposed to. Um, and I think if you're still in a place or still at, at a job that you, where you don't want to be, you still have things to learn and you still have things to experience because experience is why we're here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I was actually thought of a book I'm reading now. It's called a conversation with God. Have you read that Katie? Mm-hmm. Sorry to switch topics. No, it, I should though. You should absolutely, absolutely read it because, um, he talks about just experiencing and that's, you know, that's why we're here, you know, because we are love at the beginning and then we come here to experience it and then after we're complete. So it's just, mm-hmm. it's a really cool book. Um, but yeah, getting back to your purpose. So you really need to follow your inner compass uh, and your heart and just thoughts that are, are just coming in because the angels will just kind of like, doosh, like drop little thoughts in your mind. And what they want you to do is they want you to take action. Action is really, really important. And if you have you know, Dream Virtues Angel cards, you'll see that there's lots of action cards. So, you know, they give you these gifts as thoughts and then they want you to proceed. Uh, but one step at a time. They never want you to rush things. They're always like, you know, they, they're not going to show you the whole road, but they're going to put the next pebble and the next pebble in front of you and just like keep stepping on those small and then you'll get, you know, to your destination. 
Um, so yeah, I think for me, it's like step by step, follow your inner guidance system, do a lot of writing if you feel lost, you know, just yeah. like free, free flow, just like sit and write. Um, I'm a big like put on just like beautiful music and just walk outside to get clarity, but there's no need to stress. And you know, like the universe and you know, the angels and the energy around you doesn't want you to stress. It wants this pro process to be beautiful as well. Not just when you have your, you know, you living your purpose and you're doing what you're supposed to do, but this step right before is just really important as well. Mm, so good. And I'm actually, you know, I wish this was video for a second so I could show you. I'm looking at this quote, you guys, on my on my desk, and it's um, my favorite quote from A Course in Miracles, and I know you know it, Philippa, but those who are certain of the outcome can afford to wait and wait without anxiety. And that's, uh, that's my so good. perfect one for this situation, right? Yeah. yeah. It's so good. So, so like, good. don't stress it if you're not, you know, if you don't have that dream job yet. Uh, you know, there's no reason. Yep. Like the universe doesn't want you to do that. Yep. It always wants you to choose love over fear, the classic. Yeah. And, it, and if Gabby, Gabby always says this too, you know, if it's not this, there's something better. Yeah, yeah, which is just so beautiful. Yep, yep. It and really just kind of takes the pressure off. Yeah, and sometimes it's just so much better. I mean, I can just take my column as an example. I moved here thinking I was just going to have a blog, and all of a sudden they called me and they said, you know, do you want to call in one of the biggest – well, it's the biggest – it's the biggest Swedish newspaper, and then this is their fashion magazine. So it's just like I get this platform. I don't even have a journalism, like, master's. I don't even know how to barely write in Swedish, and yet the universe has chosen me for this. And I had – I mean, it wasn't even my wildest imagination that I would be living this, like, little sex in the city life and have, like, a carry column. Oh, my gosh. It's so yeah. cute, and it's so perfect, and I'm – I'm oh I just like have chills listening to that story because it's so great. Yeah, and it doesn't it, it supports me like creatively. It gives me a platform. Um, it gives me um, you know it, I have money coming in. I just I'm very supported with that, and that's something I do just like you know on the side, not, nothing nothing too difficult. But um, it's yeah. amazing. I love it, that. It's very cool. So in our first podcast, I realized after I listened to it that I didn't ask you my favorite question that I now ask everybody who comes on, but I must not have thought about it then. Um, and you probably know what I'm going to ask because I know you listen to them now, which is like amazing. But um, I would love it if you could walk us through your morning routines and maybe like the first, and I know it's probably constantly changing, but like the first three things that you do when you wake up and um, how your routines and what you do in the morning, how it affects how the rest of your day goes. Ooh, I love mornings. <laughs> Me too. They're magic time. They're so magic. It's just like setting the tone for the day. They're so yeah. awesome. Um, I don't like to like rush out of bed. I don't like to like stress. So I always um, give gratitude to um, – Whatever just like flows. I'll just like, I'm big on working with the angels. They're kind of, you know, everyone kind of finds their way and their tools through spirituality. And I love the angels. So I, I talk with them a lot. I ask them a lot. I know they support me. So I, I they're the ones that I kind of um, thank in the morning for whatever it is, whatever just, you know, I, like this morning I was like, thank you for this bed. Thank you for, that the sun is shining. And um, thank you for, for putting me in this body today. It's just very simple things. But, you know. It's the simple things in life that are important. Um, then I always ask God how I can help, and I recite the Course in Miracles. You know, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? What would you have me say and to who? And what would you um, have me wear? Yeah, the Gabby adds, what would you have me wear? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very cute. Um, so that's just like, I keep it all very simple, but I always do those things in the morning. Then I have my lemon water. Um in the kitchen. I mean, I'm, I'm never in a rush in the mornings because, you know, my coachings don't start until usually like nine. So it, it's, I'm never like, oh my God, I got to get it to work at eight o'clock and I only have like half an hour. I'm never in that mode um, because that's the life I choose to live. I don't want it to be that way. Um, and yeah, then I have breakfast 
and then I go for my morning walk. The walks are really important for me, and I feel very connected here in Sweden and just in this Nordic atmosphere. I'm really close to the water. There's just a beautiful nature, beautiful ar architecture. I mean, this city is just so old. I think the house that I live in is like from 1883 or something. So it's just like beautiful surroundings. And pa uh, like just power walks are just really, um, they really connect me. Mm, so good. I cannot wait to come and visit your city <sighs> and go on one with you. I know. You're welcome anytime. Anytime Amazing. I want you to come here, Katie, so bad. It's going to happen. I, I know. Oh, uh, yeah. Certain yeah. of the outcome. I know, for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's very simple steps, but yeah. those. But it's important in, in how yeah. the rest of your day goes, and I love that. Yeah. So the other end of that coin with the evening routine. So what are some of your favorite ways to wind, wind down and relax at the end of a day? Um, I love just – meditations I think I can listen to Gabby's guided meditations over and over again and I th I mean she's just such a blessing um, so I listen to those and they're five minutes um, they really make me unwind I'm big on music so like any type of music I can could fall asleep to listening to that and you know my husband ends up taking out my earplugs <laughs> yeah um, evening, med oh, what else do I do in the evening? I'm like, uh, thinking I'm not big on TV or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't know what I do. It's, it's just important to unwind, I think, in, yeah. in any way that you can. What do you do? Yeah, same, same kind of things. You know, I don't, I don't have a TV, but you know, yeah. just, just even the routine for me of, of, getting ready for bed and, you know, washing my face and right. getting in bed and just trying not to be, you know, the big one for me. And just to be honest, it's it's a struggle sometimes, you know, I'm on the mm. blog or I'm, I'm doing stuff till late, but I really try not to do that. And, mm. um, you know, really just kind of somebody else and in, in Jordan Bach in the last interview I did said, you know, really to be mindful of anything coming in um, during right before bed because it goes right into your subconscious, you know, when you sleep right. and it'll like play in your dreams. You may not even know it. So right. that's, um, if anything, you know, it scared me and it made me very conscious of, you know, not watching a YouTube video or not, right. you know. So Yeah, just like taking it easy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you're a huge inspiration to me, obviously, and I want to know, who inspires you? And maybe you can talk about the importance of everybody having a mentor. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I mean, I think, I think Gabby did get me started, Gabby Bernstein. Um, but now there's just, there's just so many, you know, with the whole Louise Hay family, Wayne Dyer, Dream Virtue, um, but it's, I think all of our friends, <laughs> yeah, all of our friends, but I think also it's important not to just look at the spiritual world when you're, you're being inspired by people. Mm. Cause there's so many others too. Um, I'm not going to throw out too many names cause you know, most of them are Swedish, but I just, you know, look around at, um, I think, locally. yeah, Wherever locally and just, are. exactly. But people that are successful, but still remain grounded. Those, those are the people that inspire me, mm. you know? People like, who are successful but remain grounded. I love that. Yeah, because I think it's so easy for you just to, like, you know, fly away and um, be up in the clouds when you, you get X amount of followers on your blog or, you know, your Instagram queen or whatever it is that you are successful yeah. at. But, you know, the girls that are still, like, answering the comments on, on Instagram or whatever it is, like, I don't know. I just think it's very beautiful for people just to remain down to earth. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's huge. Mm -hmm. So with that, you have so much cool stuff going on in your life right now, but what is the biggest lesson you've learned recently? The biggest lesson I've learned, hmm... Let me think about that. That's a hard question. You should have sent this to me before. I know, that's a big one. <laughs> um, let's see. Or just, you know, a lesson you've learned in your life that um, has just been impactful. It doesn't even have to be recent. Oh, yeah. No, I know what recently has affected me a little bit because um, 
now I'm getting pretty personal because launching this juice cleanse, um, there's a lot of other people that are doing the same. And for me, a really, really important lesson is to know that I have my own path. Mm-hmm. I have my own journey. I am very guided and we can all um, launch our juices in the city together and we'll all be just as successful. Mm. You know what, Fleva? It's so funny because that same lesson you actually taught me. I don't even know if you remember, but I remember coming to you and being like, I want to teach this. I need to Mm -hmm. teach this. I want Mm -hmm. to spread this message. I love it. And then I was like, but I can't because Gabby's already doing it. And the world, Uh she's so great. And I just, I love her and I don't want to, so I can't do it too. And you actually told me exactly what you told yourself. And Mm -hmm. it's just so funny that, you know, the world needs your cleanse and everybody's cleanse and the world needs yeah. our message because, you know, it's it's all that we're all doing the same thing in a different form and we're yeah. going to get different people. And that's that's a huge lesson. And, yeah. and so I'm so glad I asked that question. And yeah. And I had to like spot. think about it. And then it came. because yeah. Yeah, it just, it almost like came back to test me. You know, like everything that we're teaching, we have to actually like live it, which mm-hmm. is really important. And it, yeah, it came back. My ego got a little scared because, you know, I know all these people opening up other juice cleanses. And what I've been doing is just staying completely focused on mine. I haven't even gone to their websites. I haven't even read, you know, like any um, reviews about them. I'm just not even looking at their direction and completely focused on what I'm doing. So, um, and, you know, just feeling so supported by the angels because I've had such flow with, you know, I got the designer, I got the website for free, I got the best photographer, I have, I mean, it's, you name it, it's just been like a magical ride. I don't need, you know, we went to do the photo shoot on Tuesday, and I don't need, I don't really like makeup on me, I'm just really, really bad with makeup, I just wore mascara for like my wedding, and this makeup artist just like, she did my makeup beautifully, and I had tons of makeup on, but I felt so comfortable, so it's like every little detail um, on this juice cleanse process has just been really beautiful for me. Oh, I want to see those photos so bad. So when is, the, when is the, will we be able to see the website on the 24th of April? I'm actually going to launch, like make the announcement next week. So it'll be the actual first pickup on the 24th. Amazing. So, uh, well, this won't be out for a while, but we'll, yeah. um, Actually, this will be coming out the week of the 24th, so that's perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll, I send, I'll, I have a million photos, so I can send you those if you want to use for this post. Oh, we totally <laughs> will. So yeah, everyone yeah. can see them right in the post. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you saw me in real life, you'd see I had way more makeup on than the pictures come out because, you know, right, it's right. like you barely see anything. It's like all the tricks that they do. Well, so, you're, yeah. so, you're so pretty, you don't even need the makeup, but it's, it's just fun sometimes, and it'll be great yeah. to see. Yay. Yeah, it's really fun. But, well, um, yeah, no, so go for it. So with our – it's been 40-plus episodes since you were last here, and now you know that quickfire questions are a staple of these shows, but we didn't do them the first time around. So oh, – yeah. um, well, we did some of them, but we didn't do a few, all yeah. of these. So um, you ready for them? Yeah, go for you it. You had some time to, um, to stretch, and you knew they were coming this time since you yeah. listened? Yeah. All right, so favorite yoga pose? I like child's pose. (laughs) It's a great one. (laughs) Yeah, I know it's really easy, but to me, just it's just so, like, to be so connected with the earth, I love it. Yeah, I find that whenever my low back is sore, which happens a lot for me from sitting, jumping into child's pose for a second really releases my low back. I love it. And I, I do it at the gym and nobody thinks I'm weird, you know, because some of the poses, if you do them, <laughs> they're like, what is she doing? But this one is just like, just stretching my back. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, favorite day of the week? Okay. This is going to be crazy, but I like Mondays. I like Mondays too. Get your stuff in order and have a great mm-hmm. week. I think it really is a testament to like where you are in your life. Yeah, just starting over. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like every day of the week is basically the same to me. And that's, you know, again, connected to your purpose. When you're living your purpose and you're doing what you love, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. So Mondays are amazing, just starting fresh. So happy Monday tomorrow, everyone. Yeah. Favorite hour of the day? 
Um, I'm a morning person, so I like like seven at eight, seven o'clock, like eight o'clock, kind of like, you know, you see the city waking up and you're on like, again, my power walks and I'm just a morning person. Me too. Magic time. I get actually get excited in the evenings, like, oh, like so excited for it to be morning. I know. I can barely fall asleep sometimes. So I just want it to be the next day. I know. I know. Favorite way to relax? Um, music. Favorite on the go snack? Um, I love all nut butters. So like, yeah, um, almond butters, peanut butters, and then putting that on like an apple or so a flaxseed cracker. Just yeah, I love nut butters. So good. Mm-hmm. How has your spiritual practice grown since you got started on this path? Oh wow, that's like the hardest question because. <laughs> um, it's growing every day. I'm, I just get just more comfortable and more conscious. You know, it's like books that you reread now just make more more sense and yeah. um, just more comfortable in this realm overall. Mm, so good. I, I found that myself too. It's like when I re-listen to something I listened to a year ago, I get something completely different, not because it's changed, but because I have. Yeah, Exactly. So you got married since our last conversation. Huge congratulations. (laughs) Thanks. So what has been your greatest lesson or favorite part of being married? Um, I mean, my favorite part is just like a beautiful union. You just know it's going to be the two of you forever. Mm. Um, And there's just like such bliss and harmony in that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, such respect. You know, it's like marriage is... Um, I think up and down for everyone, you know, it's not perfect, but there's just like a sense of comfort that, okay, you have like a little, you know, bicker or whatever it is, but it doesn't really matter because you just, um, just the love that you have for each other, it's unbelievable. Mm, So beautiful. Yeah. So where do you feel the most inspired? When I'm helping, um, when I'm coaching. Mm. Like definitely. I mean, the energy I get when I leave a coaching, I'm like skipping down the streets because I just feel so good Um, when someone has like a breakthrough or, you know, I could just see that they're moving in the right direction. That's that gives me such inspiration to continue. Mm, So good. What is your the best thing you've eaten recently, Like maybe in the last week or something? Um, I think it's this amazing, it's on the I Quit Sugar program, it's this veggie burger with sweet potato fries that, um, that Sarah Wilson created the recipe. It's just really, really good. And you put like beets on it and, um, I think it's like a peanut butter sauce to it. It's like unreal. So go to her website, iquitsugar.com. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah, try her like it out. Crazy. We love yeah. her. I'm just like a sweet potato fries fan, and and I put in coconut oil in the oven for like 20 minutes. It's just like the easiest dinner. Yum. So what superhero power would you have if you could have one for a day? Um, I think being invisible. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. (laughs) Yeah, which is like – Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, which is actually like – (laughs) <laughs> a real superpower you know I I go to my own mentor Marisol and um yeah I mean she talks about that all the time how you actually I mean this is really high level stuff but you can go back and forth in time and and move your spirit um to different places so I'm actually learning a lot about that now which is really cool so a superpower that could happen Okay, that's super cool, and I want to talk to you more about that yeah, offline we'll talk or maybe about that for later. our next yeah. podcast. You know, maybe next time we'll take everything to I know, that's it very high level. level. But yeah. it's, it's, we'll do a master class next time. Yeah, <laughs> this is next year, everyone, yeah. 2015 when I come on for the third time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll all be levitating. Yeah, um, what's next? <laughs> favorite vacation you've ever taken? Uh, I think Costa Rica. It just had, like, the most beautiful energy um, very like just like luscious plant plantation and just like the moon and um, the activities that you did that you're just really connected nice favorite mm-hmm. beauty ritual um coconut oil classic um so good yeah just all over your body everywhere it's just like a miracle favorite, a miracle yeah it's so good I, I love to eat it I love to put it on me I love that stuff favorite movie 
favorite movie is hmm that's the gladiator i know it's really really strange but i love the gladiator <laughs> yeah i thought you were gonna say the secret but we'll go no. with it no but that's like yeah i mean then i have like a million documentaries totally, that I'm totally. always that's watching, a whole like different animal food inc or something yeah, but it's yeah. like just a movie i just always love that movie i, I don't know it's like i'm gonna have to watch it i've never seen it you haven't seen it oh, oh. my god yeah yeah it's just it's i mean it's like a hollywood movie yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. really good. yeah favorite book Favorite book is the one. I mean, I'm blown away by the one I'm reading now. A conversation with God. It is. It is amazing. It's um, Neil, the author. He had just like this, basically like this breakdown. He was really uh, just you know kind of frustrated with God. Like, why aren't you helping me? Da da da. Writing him all this stuff, and then God starts answering. And then he's asking all the questions that we all want to know. Like, well, mm-hmm. you know, what do you look like? The, like why are there wars in this world and he's and God is answering them in just like the best obviously um it just makes so much sense the answers that God gives in the book so it's just very cool oh super cool Mm -hmm. what's your favorite song can you think of one off the top of your head (laughs) favorite song oh it's so hard because I I love music um but I it's man in the mirror I think all the Michael Jackson songs for me are very like spiritual and very beautiful and they hit my heart yes i love that song too and it just makes you want to like dance and move and it's so yeah. good on a power walk yeah so good all right so last question you know what i'm gonna ask and this one was not a staple when we first started but it is now <laughs> so as you know oh so well the name of my blog and the name of this podcast is the wellness wonderland radio so when i offer that to you Philippa, to live in a wellness wonderland what comes up? Um, like what? What do you explain more? What does it mean? What is your definition of living in a wellness of living wonderland? in a wellness wonderland? Yeah. Um, just moving towards love in all levels and in all areas of your life. Mm, so good! Such a great answer. Thank you so, so much for being here again and all of the wisdom that you shared. Let everyone know where they can find you and um, how they can connect with you. So the juices will be on rockclarity.com. And my blog is a little complicated, so I'll have um, the the links below. And you'll be able to find her easily. Put that up. And then Rock Clarity slash coaching is my coaching site. So I'll, I have a million links, so Katie will post everything um, for you. But come visit everything, please. Amazing. And yeah. thank you so much. This has been a blast. And thanks, everyone, for listening. Bye. Thanks for listening. You made it all the way to the end. I'll be back next week. But until then, let's stay inspired and keep this conversation going. So tweet at me, at Katie Dalebout and our guest with your aha moments from this conversation. And like the Wellness Wonderland on Facebook, so we can all hang out there and discuss how inspired we are and how we'll apply it in our daily lives. And never miss another episode or post from me by signing up for email updates on thewellnesswonderland.com. See you back in Wonderland.